Neighbors have been staring at a large empty lot in a busy part of Albuquerque for nearly a decade and now they're wondering if and when something will ever be done with it. News 13's Rachel Knapp looking to the property. She's here with what she found. Rachel. Yeah, Madeline, the nearly two acre eyesore is riddled with weeds and dirt, but also has two real estate signs and neighbors are begging for someone to step in and buy it. In a historic area near downtown Albuquerque, it appears strangely forgotten. Neighbors say the space on 6th Street near the Wells Park basketball court is big, empty, and a major eyesore. It's definitely um, not very pretty. It's full of weeds. <laughs> um, it's not well kept. It needs some TLC. Neighbors I spoke with say about 10 years ago, this lot was full of houses. But according to them, they were in such bad shape that those houses had to come down. So now we're left with this empty lot that nobody does anything with, and we're just wanting to see, well, what's going to happen? So we started researching and calling. According to city records, oddly shaped bits and pieces of the lot are owned by private companies and trusts. The area, which is directly north of Wells Park and the community center, is zoned for residential use. People who live close by have their own hopes for what might one day take over the empty space, like a market. I know Lowe's is just down the street, but I think it'd be nice to have one here because Lowe's is, I mean, a little bit of a walk for us, and I think that's like the closest one in this vicinity. Here in the city, we have a lot of like basketball courts all over town, which is good. And I think uh, something I'd like to see is kind of like an outdoor kind of concrete style soccer court. Despite the differences in opinion, they all agree that anything would be better than leaving the lot like it is. I mean, this is a, you know, it's like historic downtown. It's close to Old Town, so it's kind of, it, it's always been strange to me that nothing's been here. According to city records, many of the lots trace back to a Santa Fe address. We tried to find the owner and called the number on the real estate signs, but we never heard back. Madeline. All right, thank you, Rachel. At this point, it does appear that that land will remain empty. Online building permit records show that as of now, nothing has been scheduled for construction.